Now that is an Idaho shower. <laughs> Turn on, they should be try it. Green level two probably. It says open, there must be spots. Do not enter. Alright, we gotta go right. That scared me. <laughs> pounds right now. Love it. <laughs> 97 pounds of freedom. <laughs> <laughs> now now I'll get in the back. Now I'll get in the back. <laughs> oh yeah. Six, you think seven? Yeah. Let's tell all the drive over and stay the fucking night over there somewhere. Well, we started in one truck and all the baggage was in one truck. And then the backseat people are complaining about too too tight a fit. So <laughs> I had to switch trucks and one bag got left behind. And it was my bag. Okay, okay, if I don't make it back by then by midnight I'll stop back in the morning. Oh, okay, okay, National, okay, thank you very much. Yep, thank you, bye. At National, we'd have to make it there by midnight. Challenge accepted. 20 minutes off, we got it. <laughs> Probably spend the night up here, pick up the bag, and head back to Idaho in the morning. Yeah, we're back in Spokane. <laughs> Made just it. Tell, just tell him. Just tell him. She didn't even ask for my ID. I just stole someone's bag. Fuck it, dude. Let's just drive back. We might as well just keep going all night. I might. We might just uh, keep this train moving. See how it goes when we get back. Well, it's uh, four something time. <laughs> Four mountain time. We seal the deal, man. What? You got one. Did you? Yeah. A wolf? No, no. Oh, Kyle. Okay. Did Trade. you see any wolves? Or yeah, a... they're up here. You could see them? We were about three quarters of the got them on video. Yeah, the wolves? Yeah. Hey. yeah. This is what it's about, you know. Taking that, the wolf home is great, but 
that guy that first night when they they started howling at us like that, like that was you, you don't get feel like it, it, no. it you felt it in here <clears throat> no, it was perfect you felt it. Yeah. it you didn't you didn't hear it you felt it and that's just different that's just so different yeah first night was like <laughs> you can't experience that again no. you know it's that's super special when you got the whole entire mountain talking to each other it's like yeah, it crazy. Was, it was crazy. The bullets goes to get. First night, Bobby was able to shoot one. Coyote, you know, get on it fairly early. Yeah, it was. Called him in right away. It was a uh, textbook. It'd be like if you had to fidget it, how it would come on was perfect. Came yeah. exactly where it should have. The, yeah. yeah, it was great. It started off right. You want me to send one? <laughs> Dude, would you just, I'm not gonna do it, but would you just shit? Okay. You can see the way they're running, they're like hunched up and running. There's only a couple of them. Three wolves, just like he said. 100% positive. No, they're 100% they're, they're, they're wolves. I have more respect than I've ever had in my life hunting wolves. Up until now, I, I it wasn't that I, I hated them by any means, but. I, I have never been more interested in that animal than I've ever been. And I think the only way to get that is to be engaged with them. Wolves are the top of the predator train. They're, you know, I mean, the, they're the regulators of all the rest of the wildlife around here. It's, yeah. they, they themselves also need to be regulated. You could use a wide array of call assortments and it would work pretty well here. So what do you mean by electric calls? Recordings. Typically, what you do is try to go with the least aggressive call possible at first. And try to feel it out, maybe even quiet. You probably won't get an answer on them types of calls, but you might get one to come in. Then you could pick it up to like some sort of an interrogation howl or something like that. Oh, here it seems like the coyotes are way more, they're, they're pretty relaxed, they're easier to call. Back home in the Midwest, they're pretty trained. By then, they've been hunted a lot. Day number uh, two, yeah. we, uh, day number one, a little recap, me and Tito were out of the cabin and these guys went and killed some coyotes and were able to call some wolves and, uh, so we're even pumped for day two. We got all five of us. Uh, yeah, you're first in the gun, so we'll see how it goes. Fucking throw me to the wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot the one on the left. That's what you're gonna do right now. That's the one I'm on. Alright, I'll go back. He's running. Disappeared. You could have one piece of food, Bobby. The one on the right, as soon as you shot, or before you shot, he disappeared. Hey, Bobby. I got him. I got him. I got him. Nailed him. He's dead there. He's on that ridge. What a workout. Going down is way easier. Look at that. There you go, bud. First guy out. I think we killed him. That's tough. You know what it sucked there, shooting those some of those ones. We just shot one of those other ones. Oof. All the way down. Yeah, dude. The first coyote, is that like, kind of like a first deer or first anything? Yeah, it's like, it's better. 
because we invested so much money and time and yeah. trip to Idaho and started off now. You know, one for, for two for two for two days in a row. You had to redeem yourself from yeah. Wisconsin. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully we go and uh, pick up a wolf. Yeah. Right, just dumping around. Yeah. <laughs> He's coming to see. How many more bolts you got, dude? You shot too many. <laughs> <laughs> we rolled him. He rolled at the top. No, really. Yeah, dude. He, turn, uh, when turn, I was on him. Turn it off. I can't see anything. Dude. <laughs> These guys shot once. Okay, look. They're hauling. Hit, hit the wall. Oh, I see him. I see him. Oh, he's running down the road. Oh, it just hit. I don't know where it hit, though. Oh, yeah. Hit something. Hitting something. Can you see? Yep. Higher he's in. Higher he's in. So he's in. I hit while well, we're three. Did you see me roll one? Did you hit it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause the one I on the rolled right. him again, didn't? Yeah. Oh, the far that was laying down. Yeah. And then he got going, and I shot, and I rolled him again, yeah. and he kept going. Yep. He's, he's right got, on he's the got, bottom of this ravine. He's got a couple couple rounds in him. Yeah. Good. Yeah. He needs them because that first thwack did the. Old oh, I heard I heard that, and then I started shooting. Good. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't that. I far must have hit him. He was five fifty. What midsection it looked like when he was running? I don't running. know. It was hard to tell. Like when you hit, he stood up. I heard him. Go, I heard the yeet. Yeah, it smoked him. I hit him, but it's only an eighty-seven grain bullet. Your yeah, bullet. Your bullet yeah, the first, right? yeah, not the one that was way yeah. up high. So he's hit for it was sure. Low. That was my first one. I was tripping so bad. I had to have hit. See, like right there, then. he stumbled. Then he rolled over here. That see, that's where I hit right yep. there. Well, actually, second night we started off. We were able to call some coyotes in. I was able to shoot one, and um, that night we actually got on some wolves. Was able to see them, and yeah, right away. Yeah. So uh, second night was really good. It's all calculated. Like the first night we heard those wolves right away. We seen them. They were 1,500 yards away. It's three o'clock in the morning. What are you gonna do? You're gonna wreck the rest of the trip. Or you're gonna, you know. Mm -hmm. So we kind of put them in the back pocket and chased coyotes for a while. Got comfortable with everything and. Worked out pretty well, right? Yeah, we just yeah, stayed, we just, right? yeah, we yeah, just drove up on, on the hill and they yeah, were that's where the, the, the low there. power, the low power thermals, yeah, like are almost a must. When he uh, took his shot that second night, I, we were gonna try to time it out, but it's so hard being the second person to shoot, I and mean, all that adrenaline, not used to this. Train. We were standing next to each other basically here and I couldn't see him. Yeah, yeah. that's how dark it was. Dark really yeah. 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 He, where he got to shoot his wolf, if we would have stopped there originally, we would have never probably called there. No. It didn't feel right. It's a huge canyon. Yeah. yeah. What? Well, let's check. Awesome, bam. Yeah. 
how many times would you come out here and because you didn't call, drive right through them and scare them out of there? And by the time you did call, you already busted them because yeah. you literally drove up there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, another hard thing with the thermals is seeing where you hit and having a spotter yeah. be able to, to give you direction on hits at night is has been a learning experience as well. Yeah, so. it's really hard. We got a lot of snow. The odds of finding something is probably slim to none, but I think as an ethical hunter, you owe it to the animal to give mm -hmm. it a shot. The odds of finding an animal that you have no blood on overnight is like probably 10% if you're that. Not even, it's probably 2%. If they're hurt bad, they're going downhill. They're using gravity, momentum, and they're gonna go on the nastiest thing that you could possibly imagine. And then it snows a foot on top of that. You just made a huge problem even worse, you know? So yeah, it's tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Ah, body's in a shock. shock. Ah. Ah. Wow, dude. <laughs> Get in there! Got it, ah. Got it bud! <laughs> 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 Damn! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 Now that is an Idaho shower. <laughs> we were at that long range school. We were like, getting so good at shooting far, we just kept dumping rounds. And them guys just be like right in our ear with this pine scope. Yeah, son, get some, take it. Hit and steal, get some, man. Take as many as you can take, man. Get some. That's what I should have said when I was yelling out there. Yeah, there's two rooms. Huh, so we got like 9.30 in the morning, what, Saturday? We're gonna go look for a wolf, hopefully. Get some rounds down range last night. Hopefully, uh, we'll find him at the bottom of the mountain. We got a couple hits on him, we'll see how good, how good he was hit. But, got a lot of snow last night, so that's not gonna help. I shouldn't say a lot of snow, but got a couple inches, but enough to cover up the tracks and the blood, so. Recovery mission today. Oh, here you got a lot of valleys and ravines, and you don't wanna give up it takes a lot of energy to get to another one, so you kind of want to keep as much elevation as you can. You can always go downhill. It's really hard to go back up. You get to a spot and you're like, oh, I wish I would have been there. Before you start going there, you automatically think, I want to go to the highest elevation vantage point I can, and if I need to, I can work my way down, you know. It's generally the rule of thumb. Otherwise, you're just burning unwanted calories. So that's where he went. Kyle got set up on a, a ridge, kind of on a good vantage point in case he scared something out of it. And you could use it as a win-win he's kind of doing a little bit of a drive or a push at the same time and it worked mm -hmm. it actually you know we had a chance yeah, if we wanted out. to it was a long shot right. didn't take it but you know in a different situation he could have ran right by it i don't know if that was a coyote or a wolf or what but it was so far by the time i see it was snow i was like 800 yards but yeah. i did try to shoot it i tried but I didn't have a round rack far enough in the chamber, so I think it might have been just to you know, save a couple bucks. Yeah, then we, then we hopped on the side-by-side, -side. we took off towards where it went, just to kind of, yeah. we were hoping to get an idea for maybe leaving later on as a general direction of where it was going, but you couldn't keep up, it was, so, it was so and so hard, you couldn't see anything. It got bad fast. They're smart animals, they, they already know that they're getting hunted. Uh, I'm not sure on that one that we wounded yesterday. I, he could still be alive, but um, they're still in the area. 
So we're gonna try to push for that. Try to find their tracks today. We hit one of them last night, or hit him this morning. He went down, we watched him go down into the bottom of the ravine, all the way down to the bottom of the creek. So we thought we'd wait on him and hopefully get on him today. But the snow is uh, not our friend here today. When I first got there, I was telling him, like, this stay up high but i'm used to that like elk hunting you don't want to go in there unless you have to it's horrible it's, it's one of the worst places i've ever been i i swear it's 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 a very good chance of getting hurt bad we got a storm i mean they're kind of in the same situation we are no one wants to be out in that stuff okay i wish the ice wasn't there so i could tell what's down there well <laughs> i had a whole ice bath Got this shit? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! How deep is that motherfucker? Woo! Hit the fuck in! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh my god! Woo! <laughs> god damn! Try to hold back! <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna walk? Oh, what the f? He had me yesterday, I got water under my contact. <laughs> what the f is he doing? I don't know. Oh, see if he wants to go. <laughs> see you later! <laughs> you walk? What? You're gonna walk? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> no wonder I feel a little chilly still. Oh, dude, this is great. Hell yeah. Woohoo! You know, basically we spotted them. They were at 600 yards, the two, and they were laid down. And you know, we were trying to come up with a game plan. And you know, one of the game plans was, you know, see if you guys, you know, Tito and Bobby, could get up, you know, maybe get around them and hopefully push them down a little bit. You know, we we got settled in right at about 600 yards. There wasn't much more, you know, any closer we could really get from them. Yeah. But um, we were hoping they'd get up and move. We probably sat on them for probably 45 minutes before. Um, we decided, hey, we want we we want to make a you know ethical shot at 600. Kyle's bullet was literally a foot and a half below that. They must have been on that back side of that ridge yeah. where they disappeared instantly. Yeah, they, I watched the one, he crested the first, it. What happened to the first one? He didn't even get up. It was like a, no, it the, looked like he the, dropped it. The so. one Kyle shot, yeah. shot, the left one went straight over. Yours, the one you shot at, went yeah, straight went right down, and then down and over. If we could have got around him, we could have pushed him down. Yeah. yeah. The road is just didn't work out, but the next time it might. But that's why they are where they are. Yeah, I'm just not prepared. I haven't, ran, I haven't shot far at all. We have, we should have been going to the Brian's farm and yeah. shot 600 yards before this trip. We never ever shot that. I haven't. Yeah. Least. I figured if I put the buttstock right, you know, half inch from my shoulder, mm -hmm. I could, you know, take it. But it, that wasn't the case. Turn your other light on. You got to check oh, it. Check this shit out. Yo, what the fuck? I got scoped. <laughs> <laughs> when I put my shoulder against it, it was just like too wobbly. So I was like, fuck it. I just put it like right here. I just pull the trigger. Whoop! Busted you through your head. Pull the trigger. Forehead tug it. 
just <laughs> kiss me in the forehead a little bit. Um, so. Yeah, battle wound. Battle wound yeah. to take home. Yeah. Right Keegan's got the ace. Today. We're back to number one again, right? Number two. Yeah. And a one. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. descended on four yesterday. Yeah, I got two. Kyle is three. Four. Four. I'm three and he's four. Okay. We've saw stuff every day. Yeah, it's perfect. But if you would have both shot at the same one, you'd probably double your chance, right? But then, yeah. well, I mean, it's, it's tough. So tonight, what do we think of tonight? Should we do it that way and make it a team thing? Or we should just keep doing it that way? Yeah. Shoot that lane down now, just cut your odds in half. And I know everyone wants to be a hero, yeah. but that's hard. You almost better off to aim for the head then. And hopefully you just hit down somewhere in that realm through their neck, even in the leg where they yeah. stumble a little bit and shit. Yeah. It just got to be able to pick up heat signatures so that way you know if you're even wasting your time. And that's probably the only downfall that I would say is um, next time we're going to bring more monoculars and binoculars, thermals. And, yeah, um, scanning. Huh? Scanning, um, especially where we're at here. That's another thing we haven't talked about is like the weather here, how much it's changing things. Mm -hmm. Now it's snowed. Now it's completely different. We have no idea what the hell to expect. Cold weather and wind, it just was way harder. It was way harder to hear. You couldn't see anything. Luckily, it's cold. You know, it's, it's cold, but they yeah. move more when it's cold. As uh, long as there's lead in the air, there's hope, right? <laughs> That's, you know, it's all about calculated lead in the air. Yeah. But shoot, take the shot. We'll take a shot on a wolf that I would never take on an elk. That being said, send it. One, two, three. A little high. Way behind. Twenty feet behind. He's running through the trees. I didn't know you were going to shoot. <laughs> it's the last dance. Yeah, you hit, you hit, he was running, he was over, running the edge of the head way over there. Oh, so it was that it was probably that yards. other one that went up that way. I was aiming uh, like 30 feet in front of that crap. I was too, shitting you. Dude, I was, I was way. I was a thousand way. yards down. I was just like, <laughs> I'm sitting on the thing and all I hear is just like, what is those puffs of air? It just sounds like somebody's going, <laughs> really? You couldn't barely hear it. Like, it literally sounded like somebody had a little air machine going. I literally went through fucking four seasons when we here. Whatever, everything else, can't control that. Got everything exactly perfect. Fucking, these first couple of days are so nice. It's a whole new world out there right now. It's so cold. Wow. What a shit, temperature change. I think we did pretty decent for that, you know. They could have been different. They could have kept coming. That other one could have came out. They you know, could have had a dead coyote there. I thought for sure we were in that one dead coyote there. Yeah, yeah we were just coming straight towards Yeah, us. and then it just, sometimes it doesn't work out, man. Things just... Things just don't go out of the plan. As far as the wolves go, I think uh, they've been educated a little bit the last couple of days. They got a new sheriff in town, so they, uh, they're they laying a little low. <laughs> they've been uh, they've been hunting a little hard. We have as to see some wolves, shoot at some wolves. Yeah. Shoot at some coyotes, explore, put probably I I, miles on. I, I, I I wish I would have been able to get another shot and something that was a, a decent shot. All the shots that I was able to take were either follow-up shots or long shots, like 600 yards. And the options I had, I'm not good at all. I got everybody, I think I got everybody in front of an animal where we went and everybody had a chance to do what they wanted to do. And, you know, if you capitalized on your opportunity, you did. And if you didn't, you didn't. It's just part of life. Next time it might be different. It's called hunting. It's not like we really need store to be honest. It's still kind of fucked us. Yeah. You can't see a goddamn time. thing. Dude. Like, I mean, it's clean, but there's so many rocks. Those rocks yeah. really yeah. are warm. But like those wolves yeah. last night were 600. At 600, if you just glance and you wouldn't see them until they moved. Yeah, because of rocks. And I had fun. Great experience. And we have some memories and cherish for a long time from that. Yeah. Oh, what?
last question I Shoot have like is, a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so last. It's not as well. Yeah. Just remember that. Put that in the video. In the end of the credits. <laughs> Broken crayon still taller. <laughs> the city is okay. <laughs> <laughs>